Hello everybody, Shinjo here, and welcome back to the channel. This snuck up on me. I was just minding my own business, having my day off the 19th of January, and I started seeing posts about the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. And I legitimately forgot about this. I was all ready to record this last year when this happens, but this year it just snuck up on me. But yeah, we got a lot of categories. Wait, there's a category must protect at all costs? Wow, I never expected something like that, but okay. So most of these are gonna be based off of what I have seen. So that's definitely going to sway things one way or another, but some of them might not necessarily be something I've watched. But let's just start, I'm going to save Anime of the Year for last because that just makes the most sense. Original Anime, I didn't know half of these were original. But, considering that the only one of this group that I've seen was Licorice Recoil, I suppose that's my choice. These other ones might be good, but the only one I've seen is Licorice Recoil, so I can't really talk about the other ones. Best character design. A couple of these I've seen the categories and I know one of the options for English dub performance, but otherwise I don't know much about this. Best character design, we got Demon Slayer, Ranking of Kings, Spy Family, Cloverworks has two um, choices here, although one's with which studio. Honestly, I have a feeling that Demon Slayer is going to have other options, so I'm going with Ranking of Kings for this one. I just really like the how the characters look, and even though it's kind of goofy in a way, more childish, I still really like it. So I'll just do this in order until Anime of the Year. Best Animation. That's gonna be subjective, but let's see what we got for options. A Kebby Sailor Uniform is an option? This is actually weird because every category Demon Slayer is in, Ranking of Kings is also in. Hmm. Also, oh yeah, Spy Family is here. Best animation. Well, I feel like this is going to be an unpopular opinion. I don't actually know what other people are voting for, but I'm going with a Kebby Sailor uniform. One, because... It's probably not going to get many options otherwise, but second, that's like the only thing that made me continue watching the show. The animation is just really smooth, really clean, and even though Spy Family is from the same people, it I just like the show and like how it looks. And anyway, best new series. Huh. I see a couple on here and I saw Spy Family... Huh. Well, I've been dancing around it, and I I can already see it's gonna be on here for a while, so I'll get this out of the way. I haven't seen Cyberpunk Edge Runner, so that's not even in my rear view at this point. It's not even something I'm considering. But honestly, from the ones that I included on my top ten anime of 2022, I know Licorice and Spy Family were both on there. I think Spy Family was a little bit higher than Recoil, I can't really remember. But I think just based off of the show, Spy Family had more to show because it was two cores. So I feel like I have to give Spy Family some props for that. Plus I've been avoiding it this whole time. Best Continuing Series, well I already know one that's going to be here because of course it is. Oh. Yeah, I, I feel like Attack on Titan was here, but I actually forgot about Kaguya-sama. Uh, is it really even fair to have One Piece here? Like, obviously it is continuing, but it's going to be here in the next year, and the next year, and the next year. Honestly, from this... Uh, see, because I never had to worry about ranking the continuing series, because I didn't even consider them for my list. But I think I do got to give props for Demon Slayer, but I think I'm going to go with Kaguya-sama. The way that the show just is in general, 
and how the season wrapped up was really fun. And just like Ranking of Kings, even though it has been here, I'm not expecting to see Ranking of Kings on here a lot. Best opening sequence. So is that... Okay, it is the opening. Okay. Uh... Okay. This is going to be hard because honestly, I like Spy Family's opening, Ranking of Kings, and Demon Slayer's. Um... I think... I think this time I'm going to go for Demon Slayers. I really like Zankyo Sanka, and even though I absolutely love Osama's opening as well, I just really like that opening. And honestly, I would even consider Spy Family if it had the second opening on there, because I'm getting to like that one more than the first one. Ending? What do we got for ending? Oh no, I saw it. This is weird that they're including only the first part of Spy Family. Okay. Oh, wait! Oh, that Kage-sama ending is the one that's the normal ending. Yeah, I didn't actually know what it translated to. I knew it was Hardwell Otoge or something like that. Mmm. There's a lot of good options here. And then there's Attack on Titan. Nothing against Attack on Titan, it's just everywhere and I'm getting tired of seeing it frankly I really like Call of the Night's ending oh Spy Families is good as well and I like the art style for dress up darlings I think I'm torn between two I think it's gonna be between Call of the Night and dress up darling and I think Uh, I'm gonna go with Dress Up Darling because I'm definitely not gonna give it any votes for anything else mostly. Well, maybe. I don't know. There's, it's not gonna get as many votes. And I feel bad for not going with Call of the Night, but it was a hard choice to make. Score? I don't pay attention to that much, but let's see what we got here. Okay. Okay, yeah, this makes sense. Wait. Sawano is part of Attack on- that makes a lot of sense, actually. So that's where that No Name came from. I knew that I see No Name as credits on Spy Family. I didn't know it was from the score. I guess that makes sense. I do like the Spy Family insert song in the first part when Shiragane is protecting Anya from Scruffy, the villain. I think I'm gonna go with that one. That, I really like that song, and to be quite honest, I don't know much of any other ones, so... Although looking at it, Kunming was right there, so technically, that is music, but I don't know. I didn't really, nothing else really stood out to me, besides that one scene from Spy Family. Oh, we have Best Film, and if I'm not mistaken, if they don't have it on here, I'll be surprised. Yep, there's Dragon Ball Superhero. Huh. And of course, One Piece Film Red was here as well. Well, the only one that I've seen is Superhero. I could have probably waited until after I watched the JJK movie, but I haven't got around to it yet. It might be technically better, but that's what I'm going with because it's the only one of this group that I've seen. And the next category is Best Anime Song. So, how is this? Oh... Oh, okay, huh, I need to check something, and right, let's see what this one is, I'm playing this from the Crunchyroll site, so, okay, that is the one that I was thinking of, hmm, I might have been more tempted to pick the One Piece one, if it was backlight because I think that's my favorite one from the movie I just really like it it's definitely a contender it's kind of weird again they're only picking stuff from spy family in the first core but I don't know why that is but I think 
Best anime song since it's finally here, I'm going with my nonfiction. It's probably not the best overall. Like, the other ones are probably better. But just from how goofy it is, I feel like I have to give it at least a mention. Even though I highly doubt nobody else is going to pick it, but that's fine. Best director? I don't know much about directing, but let's see what we got here. We have The Usual Suspects. Huh. I don't know. I mean... I can't remember where it was. It was some video that I was watching about Demon Slayer with the whole fight with Tengen. That there was only like a few different scenes in the original search material and it turned into a big massive fight scene so i'm going with that and i don't think i voted for anything no i have voted for demon slayer i voted for zankyo sanka so okay main character this is going to be something did i just see marin kitagawa boji chisato david martinez aaron lloyd and marin okay I don't want to be the one to pick Boji because I've been picking a lot of Osama ranking. At least it feels like it. So, I think it's between Chisato and Lloyd because I don't know about Attack on Titan or Cyberpunk Edge Runners. And Marin, I don't know why they picked her over the other guy, but I guess they have their reasons. I mean, Lloyd's cool, don't get me wrong. But outside of a few flashbacks that they have in the show, they don't really do much with his character. If they had more depth and personality to him, I might be willing to pick him over to Sato. But unfortunately, he's just... I don't want to use the term uh, Gary Stu because that's more negative. But it's like a character that just always does everything perfectly to an extent, and like I said, if they didn't have the flashbacks, then I just wouldn't care for his character. Honestly, I'm surprised they didn't put Anya here. For supporting characters, what do we have? They really, oh. They put your and Anya here. Is that fair? I'm not sure if it's really fair. Apparently they have both characters, that kind of splitting the spy family vote. Hayasaka was good, Kage was really good, but I'll hold off on this. Uh, can I see, okay it doesn't show me the ones I voted for. Supporting character, I will try to remember to go back to this. Actually, oh it's right next, perfect. Let's see who's on here. Okay, protect at all costs, we got... Yeah, I guess I can see Komi. I can see why you put Komi here. So here's what I'm doing. I'm voting for Anya for much protected all cost character because that just makes perfect sense. And then going back to supporting character. Since I already voted for Anya, I don't have to feel like I have to vote for Anya for this. So I'm going for Kage. Kage's a really fun character. And even though he basically, I mean, he does have a mouth. He just uses a part of his body to talk, which is a normally a mouth, you know, whatever. For, for a character like Kage, which is basically a blob, he is a really fun character. Best action. What do we got for best action? I saw Spy Family again. We got Demon Slayer, Jojo, Licorice. Well, I technically voted for Demon Slayer, Licorice, and Spy Family once each, so... I do kind of want to distribute those three evenly, but I don't know which one to... Mm. I think it's going to be Demon Slayer. That's probably not the unpopular opinion, but that's what I'm going with. Also, I did notice something, but I'll touch on it again if I remember at the end. But let's go with comedy. Comedy is definitely one that's subjective, and... Okay... Hmm. Huh. Well. I think. That's hilarious that Kaguya and Spy Family are both on here. But. 
I think those two are going to be the options. Honestly, I... What are the categories for... See, they have fantasy. They could have put Uncle from Another World in fantasy. Although it might be genuinely funny. I don't know. Haven't watched it. I'm going with Ultra Romantic. It's just... I... Like I've said before, I really like the season, and it's just a really fun show. Although I do have to give it to Spy Family, but since they're not acknowledging the second half, I'm not acknowledging the second half either. Drama. What kind of drama are we building up here? 86, Attack on Titan, Cyberpunk Edgerunners. <laughs> I haven't seen any of these. Okay. Um... Huh. Yeah, I haven't seen any of these options. Okay. Um. Well, let's do this. Alexa, pick a random number between one and six. I'm not sure if you heard it, but I asked my Echo to give me a number because I haven't seen any of these. And it gave me Made in Abyss. So that's what I'm going with. It's kind of odd that I haven't seen it yet because I really like the first season, but I don't know. I guess you could argue Kaguya-sama is drama, but I'm kind of glad that they don't have it everywhere in this list. Fantasy. Oh, I saw Ranking of Kings again. Oh, yeah. Overlord was this season. <laughs> I think it's going to be Ranking of Kings. I know I've been praising this thing to high heaven, but I don't think that it really got much mention in the last season, or the last year's list. So I'm giving it all the praise that it deserves. Romance, Shikamori is, oh no, love after world domination. Let's get this situated. Kaguya-sama is good, but I feel like I voted for it for a lot, so I'm not going with that. So it's between Komi and Love After World Domination. I haven't voted for either one. Love After World Domination hasn't even been an option. I think it's going to be Love After World Domination. It's probably not. I mean, it probably is intended to be like a spiritual successor to Power Rangers and all that stuff. Especially what happened in this world this year. But it's a really good show in general. And it has heartwarming moments as well. Let's go with the voice actors' performances. Voice artist. Artist. I can speak. This is the original... Wait. Okay. Wait! Hold on. Hold on. Let's see here. Atsumi Tanazaki. I don't know who these characters are. Um... Let me check the video. I'm turning the volume down because I think there was a year where somebody played the video but it got copywritten or something. That is Anya. I just realized that it probably would show it when I gave an option. Okay, so the options are Anya. I feel like Chika Anzai is probably Chisato. Chisato, yeah, okay. I, Pharaohs is Jolene. Yeah, I knew that. Okay, I don't know who those are. Right, it is Tanjiro. I remember that because he's also Gakuto from Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. Kaiji, is that all of them? I can't remember. There might be one more. Is not? Okay. Well, I guess I could go with Demon Slayer. Because I watched Licorice Recoil in dub, so... I only know dub from that. Um... You know, I don't think that they're including it. Let me see. Demon Slayer Entertainment District. Because I think that the train arc before it happened in 2022 as well. And that scene at the very end after that demon was getting away. That was a really good scene for Tanjiro's VA as well. So I'm going with that. Plus, it would be too obvious if I went with Anya. So let's see all these English VAs that I'm not going to know about. Uh, okay. Amelie, of course. Okay. Chermy Lee, I don't know the show. Natalie, I know that is your. Sung Wong, that is Kage. Zeno is one of the two brothers. And I'm assuming Zack is the main dude from the show. 
You can call this bias, but I'm going with Amelie. I feel like that... Like, I me I think I mentioned something like this in the original video, but that was, like, the, the genuine part that I chuckled at with the show, because, like... How do I explain this? YouTubers know modern culture to an extent, so having all these modern references is just funny, and Amelie is a YouTuber, plus she's just genuinely funny even outside of the anime. And we got Anime of the Year, and we got Cyberpunk Edgerunners, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, Licorice, Ranking of Kings, and Spy Family. Um... Well, let's make this simple. Knock out Cyberpunk Edgerunners and Attack on Titan because I haven't seen them. I liked Licorice Recoil, but the ending just felt a bit open-ended that they could continue it if they wanted to. So, I'm taking out that. Demon Slayer is good, but I feel like a lot of people are going to vote for that, so I'm going to try to avoid that. I think it's going to be Ranking of Kings. That probably isn't obvious if you watch this whole video. That's what I'm going with. Because I just really like this show. And for something like Spy Family, I might be more willing to include Spy Family if there wasn't so much extra fluff happening in the show. Like, there are so many things in Spy Family that are just like filler more or less. And they might have been following the source material, but it just felt like a lot of stuff that didn't really get anywhere. But that is my list, or my votes for 2023's Crunchyroll Awards. I don't know if it shows, okay. It runs until January 25th. Most likely this video won't come out until almost the deadline or right after. So I guess we'll just see who actually wins and I'll go back to this video and see. If you enjoy, hit that like button down below. Let me know which one of my votes you actually agreed with and which ones you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Momentai.